Hey guys, welcome back to Zcode System and the Zcode System channel. Drew here to talk to you this week about match day 11 in the Premier League and to look at a few picks that I have highlighted there uh, on our blog and maybe give you another one or two picks that are not on the blog to give you something a little bit extra special this week as we head into the weekend for the exciting Premier League action. Now, if you've been following along with the Premier League this season, you're seeing that it is a very close race right now for the title as we have some several teams around the top of the table, all with a chance of pushing on to and going on to win the trophy this season in a very strange season, a very uh, weird season that we are seeing unfold in the English top flight. Now, uh, this weekend, we see Liverpool, who are on 21 points, as well as Tottenham Hotspur on 21 points. They lead the league, but Chelsea are right there with 19 points uh, going into the weekend. So a lot of things can happen, and with some difficult games for each of those three teams, we could see a lot of fluctuation in the league. And don't count out Manchester City, who, although they are at the moment, I believe, six points back of the Premier League title, uh, Premier League first place, uh, and not playing their best football over the last few years, they still have a shout at coming back and grabbing that title and wrestling it away from their uh, biggest title rival, Liverpool, uh, this season. So a lot of things going on in the Premier League and a lot of great action that is going to unfold on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Now, there was going to be a game played on Friday night, and it was going to be Newcastle uh, going at it. Uh, in a game there, but unfortunately, due to COVID-19 and players testing positive for Newcastle, that game has been postponed and will be played at a later date. And um, uh, assuming next week's game for Newcastle will also be called off um, after players tested positive for COVID-19. So unfortunate for that. Um, hopefully the best uh, for those players to get back to full health. And for the season to resume, this is the first time a Premier League game has actually been postponed this season due to COVID-19. And what uh, you might not know if you're watching this from outside the UK is that the most recent lockdown here in England has uh, ended. It ended yesterday on the 2nd of December. And now teams are allowed to have some fans back in stadiums. Now, not all teams will be allowed to have uh, players come back in. There is a tiered system right now here in the UK or here in England where um, different restrictions for different regions or different cities are in place. So, for example, uh, Liverpool will be allowed to have some fans into their games as well as some of the other teams around the league. Uh, teams in Manchester right now not allowed to have uh, fans uh, watching games live. So um, some different things going to be happening, though. It's going to be very exciting um, as the fans finally get back into the stadiums um, almost a year after being um, shut out due to COVID-19. Now, the big game, in my opinion, coming up this weekend is Liverpool taking on Wolverhampton Wanderers. That game is going to take place on Sunday night. It's the headline game of the weekend, and it will be the last game played on Sunday around 7.15 UK time. There are some other big games going on. Tottenham Hotspur taking on Arsenal in a big North London derby. That game is going to take place right before the Liverpool-Wolverhampton game. And as I said before, there's a lot of different things that are going on this weekend in terms of Chelsea can take first place, Tottenham can go into sole possession of first place, or Liverpool could take sole possession of first place, or we could see all of these teams still in a similar uh, in a similar way to what they are right now. And uh, it's going to be a lot of pressure. There's going to be a lot of pressure on Wolverhampton, uh, sorry, on Tottenham Hotspur and on Liverpool because Chelsea do play on Saturday. They get uh, to play over 24 hours before both Tottenham Hotspur and Liverpool play. So if they can win and defeat Leeds United, there's going to be a lot of pressure put on both Spurs and Liverpool. Now, of course, you can see there on the blog, we've got the blog for the Premier League Match Day 11 picks. You can go over there, you can read up on that, you can get some great information um, that I posted there in my picks for this weekend. And if you scroll down, we can see the other things that are coming up or things that we've covered recently, uh, such as NFL picks. Um, we look at the another winning month there with the Z Code system community. And as well as if you missed it last time around, the or last week, the Mike Tyson-Roy Jones Jr. fight, which took place last Saturday in Los, uh, in Los Angeles. 
um, going the distance for an eight round draw. You should have read up on our blog or watched the video because that's what the pick was. That was my pick for that. So if you were backing that, which I believe was plus 900, if I remember correctly, when that blog was posted, then you would have come away with some good profits. So be sure you're uh, be sure you're following along with Z Code System, watching every week on the YouTube channel, and as well as uh, reading up on the blogs. But again, like I said, we're going to take a look at the Premier League this weekend, and to do that, I'm going to use the Soccer Buddy app that we have at Z Code System. And as you can see right there, with one click, we have the Soccer Buddy system uh, brought up, and I've just brought up the Premier League already. I'm ready to go for Saturday, December. Fifth, And if you need to be caught up on how the Soccer Buddy tool works, while well, you can just go here to the zcodesystem.com backslash Soccer Buddy, and you can click on this video right here, and you can get up to date on exactly how the system works and how you can use it to make profits betting on soccer. Now, I am going to click on the hot trends right here. It's going to give us a little bit more information when we scroll down. And the first game I'm going to look at this weekend is that big, and you're going to get to see quite a few games here uh, when I scroll down, thanks to um, technology, and you're going to get those for free. Uh, but we're going to look at that Chelsea Leeds United game. Chelsea in third place right now in the Premier League. They are two points back of both Tottenham Hotspur and Liverpool. Now, last weekend, Chelsea did play Tottenham Hotspur. That game finished nil-nil, and it really benefited Chelsea in that game because they were able to um, not necessarily move closer to Spurs, but they were able to keep Spurs from moving away from them. Now, Spurs have some very good players. They have a very good team. Jose Mourinho, an excellent manager, tactically sound. But I think once we get past January or once we get into January and, and so on into the second part of the season, we're going to see Spurs fall away a little bit because they're playing in the Europa League. They played a lot of games. They played more games than Chelsea at this point. And we're also going to see um, teams such as Chelsea uh, using those players that they're able to rest right now. Uh, they've already made it to the knockout stage of the Champions League, and they've won their group. They did that last night in a 4-0 win over Sevilla. They're going to be able to rest a few players, and right now Frank Lampard, compared to some other managers in the Premier League, has been able to keep players fit. A lot of muscle injuries and soft tissue problems are happening for players. There's a lot of football going on right now because everything has been condensed this season. So Chelsea not having to uh, deal with a lot of that right now, and I think that's going to benefit them later on. But looking at this game on Saturday, we can see a 2-1 scoreline prediction, and we are 5-6 to six predicting totals over 1.5 in games with Chelsea in the last six games. Chelsea have been uh, doing very well in uh, recent weeks, scoring goals, and I think they're going to get some goals against Leeds United, and they're playing at home, and I think they're going to post another win. Uh, Leeds United have played very well this season. They've taken points off of um, off of Liverpool, or sorry, they, they, they challenged Liverpool very well, losing 4-3 in the end at Anfield. They took points off of Arsenal, and they took points off of Manchester City. Now, I think they could, on most days, take points off of Chelsea. But right now, Chelsea are just playing so well. Um, they won, again, 4-0 in midweek. And I think they're going to move on and parlay that goal scoring into this weekend's game against Leeds United. Leeds are a bit inconsistent right now. And I think some of the, uh, the players there that Chelsea have are just going to be able to uh, do a bit more on the day, leading the Blues to a win. So I'm going to back Chelsea on this game. Now, if we look down at the next game, I think this is a, uh, a really interesting game for betting purposes. We have Manchester United taking on West Ham, and Manchester United are in good form in the league. They did lose in the Champions League in midweek, 3-1 to Paris Saint-Germain, um, but they do go into this game in good Premier League form. Now, that said, they have not beaten West Ham in their last three games against the Hammers. Last season, when they went to the London Stadium, to play West Ham. They lost 2-0 uh, in a game where they really put very little effort into that game, it seemed like. And when they played the reverse fixture at Old Trafford later on in the season, West Ham were able to come away with a 1-1 draw. Now, keep in mind, West Ham were able to win either half in uh, both of those games. And I actually fancy West Ham for this game. United are coming in from a midweek Champions League game, a game that now puts a lot of pressure on them for next week to qualify for the last 16 of the Champions League. I fancy West Ham to get a point at the very least in this game 
uh, and maybe to go on to win. I actually like what they did last year. Again, like I said, 2-0 win uh, over Manchester United, and they are in great form right now. They're up to fifth place in the league and ahead of Manchester United in the standings. Uh, David Moyes is doing some good things. David Moyes with a chip on his shoulder, former Manchester United manager. So he'll want nothing more than to beat his former employers. Uh, United do have some injury issues. Uh, Marcus Rashford has a shoulder problem. He may not play. Uh, and there's some other issues. Goalkeeper David De Gea is fighting a groin issue. So there are some problems with that Manchester United team right now in fitness uh in terms of fitness and also Solskjaer, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, that is, really can't rest any of his key players because he's got that big game uh, next week, like I said earlier, against RB Leipzig uh, in the Champions League. So I fancy West Ham to get a point at the very least and potentially to come away with a win in this game. I know we've got the score prediction of 2-1, to one, but I actually fancy West Ham 2-1 to one in this game. So uh, if you want to back that with me, then we'll by all means do so. Now, let's take a look at a couple more games, and we're going to go over to Sunday uh, to do that. And when we do that, we're going to have a look at the games uh, that I briefly talked about earlier, uh, one being the North London Derby, Tottenham and Arsenal, and the other being Liverpool taking on Wolverhampton Wanderers. And, uh, well, we got that there in the list, so we'll look at the Wolverhampton versus Liverpool game first off. And... If we go back to Wolverhampton being promoted to the, Premier, to the Premier League in 2018, they have not defeated Liverpool in the league in four straight matches. Liverpool have won their last four times against Wolverhampton Wanderers, and I believe they have outscored Wolves 7-1 to one during that time frame. I'm just going to make sure that our hot trends uh, are on. Um, they are. Uh, no hot trends showing at the moment. But as I said, uh, Liverpool have outscored Wolves something like 7-1 to one in their last four league games. And if my memory serves me correctly, it's not written down in front of me, but Liverpool have kept wins to nil clean sheets in their last two games played at Anfield against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Now, big news for Wolverhampton Wanderers, and that is star striker Raul Jimenez will not play, and he may not play for quite some time. Last weekend, playing against Arsenal, a game that Wolves won, Jimenez clashed heads with David Luiz, uh, of Arsenal, and it fractured his skull. He was rushed to the hospital where he had emergency surgery on Monday night. So he's out of action for the foreseeable future. Wolves don't necessarily have, uh, well, they don't have a proven Premier League goal scorer outside of him to play a striker. And I think Liverpool's defense will definitely uh, be able to stop Wolves on the night. Uh, Liverpool have already progressed to the last 16 of the Champions League, and they've won their group. So Jurgen Klopp, even though he has nine, that's right, nine first-team injuries right now, he can play a very strong side and not worry about uh, next week's Champions League game. Now, interestingly, one of those in uh, one of those injuries is Alison Becker, star goalkeeper for Liverpool, and uh, Klopp used Kivu uh, Kelleher, um, I'm butchering his first name, but um, Kelleher, a third choice goalkeeper. He used him in midweek against Ajax. The kid did fantastic. I think he's 20 years old. He made a couple of huge saves and won man of the match award for Liverpool as they won one nil against Ajax. And there's a very good chance that he will start again. He's a, got a very bright future, big kid, six two. Um, and I think he's going to get the start again against Wolverhampton Wanderers and he'll have um, a bit of a makeshift defense playing in front of him because of all the injuries. But so far, so good for Liverpool. They've actually played better in defense uh, after losing star center back Virgil van Dijk, which is quite interesting um, how much they relied on him previously. Now, 2-1 scoreline prediction there. I'm afraid Wolves aren't going to be able to get through this back line of Liverpool. And I'm going to go against another uh, score prediction here from the soccer buddy. I'm actually going to go 2-0 to Liverpool on this one. Uh, uh, Wolves are a good team, very good team. I really enjoy watching Wolves, but I just don't think that they're going to be able to get through uh, Liverpool's defense. And Liverpool can play a strong squad, the strongest possible, um, this week in the Premier League. So I'm going uh, Liverpool 2-0 at home against Wolves. Now looking at our last game that I'm going to profile, I'm going to talk about, and that is Arsenal and Tottenham going at it in the North London Derby. And Arsenal right now are dreadful. They are playing terribly, uh, terrible football right now in the Premier League. And it's it's so interesting because they had done so well after hiring uh, Mikel Arteta, former Manchester City assistant, in the middle of last season. He had turned them around. They had done some great things. And they were really on the up and up. Um, they have really 
um, hit a spiral uh, this season. They are they are not winning games in the Premier League and they are struggling uh, to score goals, losing last weekend to Wolverhampton Wanderers. And they gave a big contract to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang uh, just at the beginning of this season, really putting their hopes, pinning their hopes on him to to go out and get goals and to, to be their team leader. I believe he's only scored two goals this year in the Premier League, very much struggling in front of goal and Arsenal as a team struggling to get goals. Um, playing against Tottenham away, I fancy Tottenham to get this win. I like that 1-0 scoreline, potentially a 2-0 win uh, for Tottenham, under 2.5 goals in this game, I'm predicting going along here with uh, the soccer buddy. Um, but I, I think Tottenham head and shoulders above Arsenal right now, and they will beat Spurs. Now, personally, as a Liverpool fan, I would rather have Arsenal win this game, of course, um, on a personal level uh, to help Liverpool uh, take retake first place. But um, Spurs, obviously, the much better team here, and they should get a win against Arsenal on Sunday afternoon. So, guys, those are my picks this week. You get to see quite a few picks here on the Soccer Buddy app. And, of course, if you sign up to Z Code System, you'll be able to use the Soccer Buddy app and all of the different uh, tools that we have there to help you make great picks on your Premier League picks. Or if you want to bet on the Champions League or La Liga in Spain or any of the other uh, big soccer leagues around the world, or whether you are an NBA better or NFL better, you'll be able to get those tools over at Z Code System. So guys, thanks for tuning in this week for the video here on the YouTube channel. If you are browsing through for the first time and you like what you saw, please uh, hit that uh, thumbs up and give us a like and subscribe to the channel so you are up to date every week when we post. And if this is your second, third, fourth, fifth time to come back to the channel and to watch a video, then thank you guys so much for coming back and enjoying uh, our videos here. And also, let us know what you think there in the comments. Let us know what you want to see and uh, we'll try to get on to that, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next week here at Z Code System.